top of Ellis' miss conference, miss sent Mitch and Matt to downplay. One and a half IQ, bro. Yeah. But, All right. I mean, dude, like, someone asked the question in the chat, and I think, like, if you want to get your truth out, and I can't fucking lead you, bro. Okay, so you, you, well, like, you just need to tell me, ask me the question, and I will answer it. Okay, give give the chat a yes or no question, like, a yes or no answer. Did Miz explicitly give direction to you and Maya and fucking whoever the fuck else was in that room to go to Adriana's house and to quote unquote downplay the situation or find a way to save Slick's ass? Yes or no? The answer to that is yes. Okay. That's the fucking sauce right there, bro. And that, that and it's just like that. One and a half. That was a clear answer, but again, he said something else in this one, and this is not defending. If that is true, that isn't good. If that is true, that isn't good. So question is, why did he say something else in this video? Someone said this is this a second clip? That's right, and I just want to make sure that everyone knows the exact words that Miz, like, I feel like I should clarify the exact words that Miz said, like, again, because people can make their own interpretation of that, correct? Clarify it. What were the exact words that were said? The exact words that were said were like, Maya, you are Maya Higa. You know who you are. You're a woman. She'll listen to you. Not like, like maybe listens the wrong word, but you know what I mean. She, like, d d does that make any sense? Those were, those were along the lines. And then he, t and then he looked at me and he was like, Mitch, you should shut the fuck up and not say a goddamn thing. And that was that. Again, we don't know shit. Again, we, we're just as confused. Maybe that wasn't the words. Let's just repeat what he said. I should clarify the exact words that Miz said. Like, Clarify the exact words. Like, again, because people can make their own interpretation of that, correct? Clarify it. What were the exact words that were said? Clarify what was the exact words. And then? The exact words that were said were like, Maya, you are Maya Higa. You know... Who you are, you're a woman, she'll listen to you. Not like, like maybe listen's the wrong word. Maybe listen is the wrong word. This is the whole thing because did he say, tell Maya to listen, to tell her something and listen to Maya? Or maybe listen was the wrong word. I, I don't know shit. Maybe that wasn't the word he used. What word did he use? Greedy or whatever Mitch is saying doesn't make it. We have to assume a lot of things here all the time to either choose what happened. Because now, from what Mitch, Mitch said there, we have to either assume that he was specifically telling something even worse, or we have to assume that he didn't. Because he didn't say what, <laughs> what really was said. Knut's so wrong. What is wrong with that? Can you explain to me, Hilly? What am I wrong about there? Either is wrong. He said the first, Mitch said, he said the first part, but then the second part, he wasn't sure about. That's what I got from the clip. You're looking at it as if what Miss said in the call was true. No, I'm looking at it as we don't know what is true. I don't know what is true. That's what I'm, from that perspective, it's where I'm looking. Sending him or her over in the first place is the problem. I can agree with you on that one. That that is, as we talked about earlier, as we talked about and said earlier, that's conflict of interest. And and that we can agree on. But but the question we're, we're talking about here isn't, has, Mid, has Maya and Mitch been there? Because I think that is pretty clear from all sides, isn't it? I'm just asking, is that what we're trying to find out? Because I think we got that pretty clear. Does anyone disagree? They have been there. It has been a conversation where Miss Gift told them to go there. They said they were there. Yes, I'm just... We're, 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 uh, we're just trying to get everything clear. <laughs> so, stop milking this, Knut. Why should we stop milking? I want to get clarification as well. Hello, Greek. Uh, we're just trying to look at what everyone is saying here. And I have to say, I, I feel like we... From what you have heard till now, everyone is assuming a lot of things. Question is, did he send her over to convince her? Or did he send her over, as he is saying himself, and 
Mitch was saying in the other call, to find out what has happened. And all of you are all, always assuming either the worst or the last thing that is said. You're always assuming one of uh, the, the worst case or the last thing that is said. And I try to listen to all the information and the information that we're getting, at least as I see it, is that it's pointing in every fucking direction. There's a few things we have clear, clarified. That is, sexual assault has happened. We have, that is pretty clear, to me at least. That is, no, no questions asked. Maya, Mitch and Barry has been over to her house. That is pretty clear. The intentions, the result of that is what isn't really clear. That's how I see it at this point. Listen to Adriana. Yes, we can listen to her as well. We have, we're not finished. Knut is too grown for teenage drama. <laughs> the, the thing is, this drama that we're seeing right now is happening everywhere in the world almost, all the time. The difference is, now we have an audience. I agree. Can we agree they should have never gone over to her house? We can agree that that would have been way better that no one went over to the house. That I will agree in that myself, yes. That would have made this situation way different and way easier. I 100% agree. <laughs> How I am sure? I'm only sure, I saw a guy said, How are you sure there was sexual assault? Till now, I haven't heard anyone denying what the three witnesses said that happened in that room. That's why I'm not sure, because I haven't been there. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any video. But I would assume Slick denied it. Is there actual proof? Maybe it isn't. Uh, watch what the victim has to say. She isn't a witness to her own assault. She was out and her friends didn't tell her before a year after I know this. This is what makes it even more confusing. And that whole time, I was just told he he touched my neck and like my wrist and tried to check my pulse. And then I found out as we were writing that twit longer that he touched my chest. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that was well, that people... was news to me that day, because I don't I don't want to talk about that situation. And we were in a safe space where we all were talking about it, and that was news to me that day. So you were literally unconscious. It's not like you can go off of like what you saw because you were sleeping. Exactly, I, and I think that's. I don't think people realize that. And that. This is why it is impossible to know hundred percent. This is why it is such. A... Oof. What the fuck is going on? Okay, I'll explain. When what she is saying here, I'll and explain. Bit that whole time. I was just told he he touched my neck and like my wrist and tried to check my The whole time she's talking about the period between 2020 when this happened and 2021 Pulse. when she was typing the tweet longer and the witnesses that has told her that she's referring to that's her friends I don't know how close friends they are I don't know anything you don't know the whole story I'm just listening to what she is saying her herself. And then I found out as we were writing that twit longer. And then she found out a year after it had happened. If I'm correct, am I correct? What Slick did happened in 2020. When they wrote the tweet longer, it happened in 2021. Am I completely wrong? It's one and a half year after she found out that it was sexual assault. Is that wrong? Are you high? I'm asking because that's how I have heard. And someone is saying correct. Someone is saying you're wrong. 100% ac true according to herself. We're not making any assumptions. Now we're listening to the victim what she is saying. Hey Knut, she's covering her mouth right now common sign of lying. Also, we should just assume that she's lying because she's holding her hand like this. Okay, I will I will make that assumption. 